Kier with former national security advisor and author of the new book, Tough Love, Susan Rice. Did, did you ever have to be tough with Obama? Because you're very direct. You think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, there were times when you know, I just had to tell him what for. So, for example, on uh, St. Patrick's Day, every day, every year, St. Patrick's Day is a big deal in the White House. The Irish Prime Minister comes, everybody's wearing green boutonnieres, it's sure. all very fancy. President of the United States comes down into the Oval Office for the morning briefing on intelligence and foreign policy. And he's wearing this weird tie that's kind of like teal blue with weird flecks in it. And I said, Mr. President, that tie is not green. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, come on, Rice, of course it's green. I look, I sort of raise it up to his face, you know, and I said, man, it's not green. And called for reinforcements from the other staff members around. They're like, you're right, it's not green. <laughs> So he turns around, very annoyed, walks back upstairs to the residence, comes back down a few minutes later with a legitimately green tie on. <laughs> End of that conversation. And that was all well and good until the next year. Literally, 365 days later, he comes back with the same old teal fleck tie. Is and he I'm, colorblind? I, I got to tell you, I, that question crossed my mind. And, <laughs> I, I said, man, it's still not green this year. It wasn't green last year, it's not green this year. <laughs> and he walked back up and got the right tie, and, you know, mm -hmm. that was, you know, tough now, love. Now, is any of the story you just told me classified? Did you just it's break national security? not classified, no. Now, uh, again, the book is called Tough Love. Were you, you're, you're, as I said, you're very direct now. Were you, were you direct and tough at an early age? You know, I've been accused of that, and I think if uh, you pulled my family, my mother, some of my teachers, they'd tell you that. Um, my mom likes to tell a story on me, and I remember this well. When I was about four years old, uh, she took me to this very um, exclusive school for an interview, and this was a school in Washington that she really wanted me to get into. And I had already been very diffident, refusing to answer questions, just, you know, ignoring everybody. We walk up the hill to the principal's office, and the principal is trying to interview me, and I just won't talk. And my mother is mortified. She thinks that, you know, I'm deliberately trying to embarrass her, which probably I was. And <laughs> as we're walking out of the office, um, I notice over, the, over my shoulder this fish tank, which belonged to the principal. And I turn around, and I say, hey, lady, your fish is dead. <laughs> And, because it was floating on top, right? This is all you said? That's all I said. But it was enough to get me into the school. <laughs> it worked. Maybe it was a test. Susan, so nice to this see you again. The book is Tough Love, and it's available starting tomorrow. Former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, everybody. We'll be right back.